Procurement strategies are not created equal. How a category of spend is classified by procurement can have a profound effect on the approach it takes to how it sources, how it negotiates and how it manages relationships with suppliers. Procurement uses portfolio analysis to guide them to develop sourcing strategies and is the most used model in the procurement toolbox. It is used for three main reasons. One, to set priorities for which spend categories to address first. Two, where to deploy people. And this usually involves putting the most competent and experienced category managers onto category projects that show the most value improving promise and three, to help design what are often quite different approaches and strategies for each priority category of spend, a fact that is unknown to many account managers. The first task for procurement is to position each of its spend categories on the horizontal axis of the matrix, with the top spend items placed to the right on the low to high spend scale and the lower spend items to the left. Procurement will then, considering commercial and supply risk characteristics, determine the degree of difficulty in procuring each category and assign a position for them on the low to high scale. Let's start with categories that would be placed in the lower left quadrant, low in relative spend and low in market difficulty. These are classified as transactional categories. Typically, these might be the low-value purchases that don't attract the attention of the CPO. For an automotive company, it could be something as simple or basic as office supplies or standard fastenings. The strategy approach for such low-value, low-difficulty spend categories is to minimize procurement effort and create standard specifications that as many suppliers as possible can meet. Efficiency is a priority and procurement is usually not interested in engaging or developing a relationship with suppliers of products in this quadrant, usually placing a relatively inexperienced buyer to oversee each category. In the upper left quadrant are spend categories that are relatively low spend for the customer but problematic for procurement in that there are few suppliers who can meet the demand requirements or the specification. Procurement term these categories as bottleneck. Suppliers in this quadrant are very likely to have direct relationships with technical specifiers or budget holders, with procurement having limited influence. In contrast to those in bottleneck, procurement enjoys working on spend categories in the leverage quadrant. Here procurement is able to enjoy wide supplier choice and due to relatively high spend is frequently able to flex its muscles through the use of competitive tendering and reverse auctions. Procurement people operating in leverage often display typical buyer behavior, concentrating spend volumes, using tenders, aggressive negotiation, demanding cost transparency and keeping suppliers at arm's length. Finally, the strategic quadrant is where partnerships may exist with a collaborative approach in place. These categories represent high spend yet high difficulty, where relationships are interdependent, important for both the customer and for the supplier. So, four distinct strategic options open to procurement depending on the importance placed on each spend category. Things for you to remember. Firstly, procurement has a range of strategy options when it comes to sourcing and supplier management. There isn't one strategy that fits all circumstances. In sales, one of our biggest opportunities is building the connections where there are differing procurement strategies. If you have one or two genuinely unique products or services that are in bottleneck, you might be able to use that to influence procurement's interest in your wider product portfolio. The key message here is to put yourself in procurement's shoes and be objective of how they might categorize your products. It is highly unlikely that whatever you want to believe that you are truly in strategic. If you or your colleagues think you are, then challenge yourself hard on whether that is really the case. Mm -hmm.